Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service. Today we're going to talk about why I like the open trailer versus the enclosed trailer. Uh, right now we're running open trailers and I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, first I'll show you this trailer that we run. This is a 16 foot by about 6 foot 4 wide. Okay, and this is fine for our 60 inch zero turn our 54 inch zero turn i could put two zero turns up here and uh, it's a little tight but they will fit uh, this one we added these weed eater racks right here these are like 80 dollars a piece on amazon and this holds holds our tools and you can lock them up easily okay also we uh, put the backpack pack blower rack on here okay we put this toolbox in. You don't have to have this toolbox. We just threw it in there to help with our tools. And we put a little weed eater line bracket here. We put a cooler bracket up here. And then in this little box, we got a little sprinkler fittings in case we knock one of those off. And uh, our extension cord, because we got this air compressor, if we get a flat tire, we can plug this in the customer's house. Or if that's already charged up, we're good. We can fill up our, our flat tires without having to go anywhere uh, we have we have uh, uh, no flats on most of our mowers but we've got a couple that don't have uh, don't have the twill tires so that's why it's good to carry an air compressor and plus if your trailer breaks down the side of the road or needs air in one of the tires you got your air compressor I mean for a hundred bucks 150 bucks plus the hose reel over there that's probably a 50 foot hose reel then you are all set as far as uh, flat tires go. Uh, this has the pressure treated wood in here. Uh, this particular trailer is a 2007, so it's 15 years old. But it, uh, we've replaced the wood one time, and that's it. In 15 years, I haven't put anything on this. Now this trailer came with its welded on tool rack, which locks up all three tools right here. So this is, was just a nice accessory. And uh, it has the guards here for for the lights which is fine and it has a fold down tailgate and uh, this we did replace the screen in this once the wire mesh it's got wood on it it came with wire mesh but the wire mesh wasn't gonna last so many years so we just bolted wood on there onto the frame and that's it it's a lot stronger than the wire mesh ever was now that tailgate will not go up and down that easy without these gorilla lifts. These are called gorilla lifts. I highly recommend these because if the kids are out here playing and they let down this tailgate and one of them does, another one's standing there, I mean, it's going to crush them. So I would definitely get gorilla lifts and I'll show you a better picture of these here in just a minute. But this makes your life really easy. For $189, you can lift up the tailgate real, really easy, just like that. And you can let it down really easy for, 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 for your back uh, reasons and for you don't want kids to get crushed accidentally. I would definitely put on the gorilla lifts. And we've replaced these once on this trail in our 15 years. Um, the rate the radio tires, I went to radial. Radial tires versus bias ply are so much better. First of all, these will last about four times longer. And uh, the radials. And uh, the radials we run on here are Carlisle. Carlisle radial trails. I think these are the best tires for a trailer that you can find. I've, been, I've had all sorts of tires. Carlisle is the best. They will last the longest, longer than most trailer tires. So the reason I get an open trailer first of all it, the cost open trailers only at the time was like 1500 bucks or 1700 dollars and then now you're going to pay a lot more than that but uh it's cheap okay this same trailer enclosed today is ten thousand dollars because they're hard to get supplies are short i mean so it's it's it's, it's 10 grand uh this 1700 and probably like i said a little bit more today and the only downside is it's open, but you just get these covers. These covers on here are called uh, dry wraps, 
and they're dirty right now but these dry wraps are like 30 bucks a piece that will keep your tools all dry and uh and then we got a cover for the backpack blower it was also made by dry wraps that one was like 80 dollars but that's all you got to do and your tools will not get wet so you're going to save a lot of money especially if you're first starting out in a lawn business you're going to save a lot of money running open trailer and the other thing about the open trailer is backing up and visibility you can see all the way behind this you can see the sides so backing up and visibility is going to be much more uh I am going to get a closed trailer someday, but uh, I haven't got there yet. And you know, 10 grand is a lot of money to put out on that. So, uh, for those reasons, I would recommend an open trailer versus a closed trailer. Uh, now, I live in Florida. I, we don't have snow and ice and sleet and all that. We, you know, we just got a lot of rain in the rainy season. But this works just fine in the rainy season. So, you know, for a couple of grand or 1,700 or two grand or whatever it is versus 10 grand you're going to save all that money and uh, we just take our mowers off at the end of the day and we put them in the shop over here okay so <coughs> that way they're not going to get rained on constantly or whatever so that's what we do with the mowers at the end of the day now you could leave them on the trailer and you may make mower covers but that's just just what we do so for cost wise and and uh, operational wise visibility and if you're just getting started i mean that it's a lot cheaper to go with an open trailer now this one's rated for uh 2990 pounds okay one zero turn weighs <coughs> 1100 and the other one weighs 1100 so that's 2200 pounds plus your tools so i'm not even up to 2990 but with 2990 you don't have to have trailer brakes at least in florida anything 3000 and over so it does not have trailer brakes and it's not required to have trailer brakes so uh, that is another thing. This is a 3,000 pound rated trailer, 2990, and uh, it handles anything that we have to do with a lawn service. Now, we will not haul our subcompact tractor, but most people don't have those anyway in the lawn service, but some people do. But uh, I'm not going not gonna to really haul the tractor and, and, and attachments, but uh, it will haul all of your mowers. So that's my video on why I think you should go with an open trailer versus enclosed and that's your cost and that's what you can do to it, outfit it. And in my next video, I'm gonna we upgraded to a little bit bigger open trailer and I'm gonna discuss that. So that's your video on our open trailer versus having an enclosed trailer. And if you like it, hit the like button and if you wanna to subscribe to our channel, we're going to have a lot more videos coming on everything you do, the lawn business, trailers, tractors, mowers, whatever.